Matthew Stafford has been your guy, and you have talked multiple times about how this Super Bowl makes him a Hall of Famer. I think have you did you go as far as saying first ballot? I'm not sure. No, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer. Do you but when think, it's all said and done, because he has years left. Okay, okay, but as of right now, he's a Hall of Famer. Is Matthew Stafford a Hall of Famer? He's a Hall of Famer. Um, I'll tell you what, you are not top eleven in completions, top eleven in touchdowns, top twelve in yards. Should have multiple Pro Bowls on his name where he was not a Pro Bowler this year. However, he was number two in touchdowns, number three in yards, and he did not make the Pro Bowl. Now, I'm sure that he's fine with that, given the fact that he just won a Super Bowl. So I'm sure that's irrelevant to him. Doesn't have an All-Pro this season. Oh, excuse me. Doesn't have an All-Pro in his career. This year could have been debatable. That being said, Rodgers is the MVP. Brady led the league in in, in touchdowns and yards. Fine, I understand. But you're telling me that you have this guy who for 13 years was in the worst organization in sports, statistically was still great for Detroit, has an over 5,000-yard season, which was his first season healthy in the NFL, over 5,000 yards, has multiple 40-plus yard, uh, forty plus touchdown seasons. Now you add a Super Bowl to that resume. The very first year where narrative is going to play a part. Brady Stafford, back-to-back, new teams, full. I think that you look at when it's all said and done, he will be top 10 in completions. He will be top 10 in yards. He might be top he five will, in yards. And he might be. He's a yards machine without a doubt. He will be top 10 in touchdowns. What's going to make him not a Hall of Famer? Why? Because he doesn't have all pros? Say Drew Brees has one. Because let's be real. I understand that all pros matter, but you're looking at it in a time where media loves narrative, right? Aaron Rodgers was great this year. You can't deny it. You still have Mahomes, who they want to continue to feed as the face of the NFL. Josh Allen's coming up. Do I still think that Stafford could potentially creep in there and, and sneak out an All-Pro? Sure. Yeah. But there's a lot of young names that they're going to want to try and push their their name above. But I feel like that doesn't have to do with anything with Stafford at all. Why, why am I worried about All-Pros when I have a Super Bowl? Yeah. Why am I worried about all pros when statistically I'm one of the best quarterbacks to ever play this game? Yeah, I was gonna say I think I don't think Ben has any all pros. Don't think Eli has any all pros. Drew Brees has one. I want to say so. It's not like all pros are the end all be all, and especially when it's something that you know could be like. Are we talking about Stafford being like the one of the greatest single hand quarterbacks of all time? No, we're the talking only, about him being the, a Hall of Fame. The only argument also, I have, you so, go, you the go. only argument I have, because we made the same argument about Eli, is was Stafford at any time the best quarterback in the NFL? Probably not. This is probably his only year, maybe one other year where he's top five ever. So that's the, top five too. Yeah, was that, Steve Young ever the greatest quarterback in the NFL? You could argue it, yeah. No, you can't. He was in the best team. Yeah, yeah, he was in a great situation. And he sure. was amazing. Yeah. Not, I don't want it to sound like I'm saying Steve Young wasn't amazing. Yeah. But so was Stafford. He was, but you we just have to be about consistent. Them in the same sense is ridiculous. We just have to be consistent if we're and saying that about, that? E- about Eli. Because Steve Young is like a first ballot Hall of Famer. He is. Yeah. And Stafford, when it's all said and done, is on the trajectory He's to a be. Hall of Famer. I'm He's not a sure. Two-time all, if you, Steve Young has three All-Pros. If you have an All-Pro, that means you were one of the one of the three best quarterbacks in the NFL at the time. It, that's a fact. So he was. Just want to correct Again, you on he that. Again, he was on this, the Niners who never lost a game. I, I know. But, what, I mean, what are you going to do? I like, agree. I agree. Got, oh, he, no, no, no. Agreed. He did his thing. He executed. Agreed. Agreed. Right now, I agree with Drew. He's a Hall of Famer. He's not a first ballot one right now. Um, we discussed on the way here, he probably has two, maybe three elite seasons left. You know, the way quarterbacks are going nowadays, it wouldn't shock me. What, what scares me the most, really, is what is this Rams team going to look like? Because we have hints of Sean McVay hinting at retirement. Aaron Donald. Odell just tore his ACL for the second time. Um, you know, Cam Akers didn't have the best player front after the Arizona game. So, Andrew Whitworth, as well, is probably going to retire. So, the team is more worrisome than just Stafford because if Stafford can't go back to the playoffs and win multiple games and possibly even another Super Bowl, it's going to be a bit harder for him to get into the Super, into the Hall of Fame. But the question is, is he a Hall of Famer versus the validity of the Hall of Fame? Because there's some Hall of Fame guys in there. Like, we just watched this past Hall of Fame inductee class. Other than Richard Seymour, 
there's a whole bunch of guys I'm like, who who are you? <laughs> respect you know, Sam Mills. Bro. I'm, I'm going to respect them because they were way before my time in the 60s and 70s. And, you know, I'm sure they deserve their credit. And I'm sure they've been great. But there are some questionable players and quarterbacks in there. But when you look at Stafford and compare him to other quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame already, he already has 50,000 career passing yards, which is between Elway and Warren Moon. They're both in the Hall of Fame. He has 323 passing touchdowns, more than Warren Moon, Elway, Unitas, Montana. He threw three touchdowns on Sunday. Elway had three touchdowns and five Super Bowls. So when you when you look at the numbers and compare him to other quarterbacks who are already in the Hall of Fame, I mean, he kind of stacks up. And he has multiple seasons, multiple elite seasons left. He's going to end up top 10 in passing touchdowns. We mentioned it, possibly top five in passing yards, at least one Super Bowl ring, a great so a great playoff run with multiple game-winning drives, including in the Super Bowl. And then when you look at the at the run he just went on, he dominated the Cardinals, who we know they're not in the same tier, still a divisional rival, a team that beat them earlier in the season. He led a game-winning drive with 42 seconds left against Tom Brady, the defending champs in the Buccaneers. The greatest player ever. Game-winning drive, game-winning drive against San Fran, again in the Super Bowl. It, it is close, and it's just his first season. But if he's doing this his first season... As long as McVay's there, who I really care about the most, I feel like they'll be able to figure it out. Right now, he's a Hall of Famer. If he has another Super Bowl, he's probably first ballot. Okay. To your point, to talk about the passing yards, I just want to mention this real quickly. This is a pass-heavy league. And for Matthew Stafford, who played in a pass-heavy league, the volume is going to be there if you play long enough, especially in a situation in Detroit where in his entire years, they had one 1,000-yard rusher, Reggie Bush, so for the most part, he was passing all the time, down all the time. That's why he has these passing stats. Joe Flacco is 19th all-time in passing yards. Do I think he's anywhere near the 19th best quarterback to ever play the game? Hell fucking no. And again, I'm not saying that he's the uh, top 11 quarterback. That, I know, I know, but, I, but, I'm just, but I'm just saying. Th- that's why the volume thing. It's a longevity it, it doesn't, stat. To yeah, it's a longevity stat. It's not really sitting with me. You talked about the context of him in Detroit. Okay. Detroit has been a horrible situation. I'm not arguing that one bit. But when talking about the Hall of Fame, context for the most part goes out the window, for being honest. We, they don't care about what you did in a bad situation. It's about what you accomplished, what your, re, what your, resume, what your resume is. Let's look at the quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame. I'm actually going to pick out quarterbacks in the current Hall of Fame that have the lowest amount of accolades. George Blonda. Four-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, three-time AFL champ. Joe Namath, five-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, Super Bowl champion, AFL champ, Super Bowl MVP. Ken Stabler, four-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, one-time Super Bowl champ, MVP of the league. Bob Greasy, eight-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, two-time Super Bowl champ. Warren Moon, nine-time Pro Bowler, one-time Offensive Player of the Year. Kurt Warner, four-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, two-time MVP, Super Bowl champ, MVP. Jim Kelly, five-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, lost four straight Super Bowls. Jim Kelly's a Hall of Fame quarterback. I know. Terry Bradshaw, three-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, three-time Super Bowl champ, two-time Super Bowl MVP, and MVP. There are 26 quarterbacks currently in the Hall of Fame. The one with the least amount of accolades, at least individually, is Terry Bradshaw with three Pro Bowls. You know what it sounds like? That winning's a quarterback stat. That's what all of that just sounded like to me. That's exactly what have that. I been saying all season long. Okay, whatever. You said that you said it it's isn't. not. You're saying that it isn't. I'm saying that it is. And that's what he's saying. You think it is? That you're, look, I don't think it is. I mean, look at the art. list. That's look the, at all those championships and like all. Warren you know Moon didn't I mean? win a championship. Okay, that's one. Bradshaw's a good Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Warren Moon, Warren Moon, Warren Moon didn't because you have a chip. Warren Moon didn't win. Jim Kelly didn't win. Bradshaw won. Look at Bradshaw. Look at Bradshaw stats. Namath had one, and he. I mean, listen. I'm a Jets fan. I love Namath, but his come stats. On. I know his stats are putrid. So are Terry Bradshaw's. When yeah, you look at one. these, that's why they, that's why they're amazing really in this playoff run. Also, on top of a ye- okay, career but what of I, what being I'm, amazing statistically. On, what I'm under. What I'm. What I'm saying when I say winning is not a quarterback stat is that. Those te- those Steelers teams did not win because of Bear- Terry Bradshaw. Oh hell no! That's what I'm saying. Oh, hell no! But the Hall of Fame, Matt. The Hall of Fame, ca- this it carries a lot of weight a for ton. sure. Yeah, that's why Eli Manning is going to get in. Let's just be honest. I mean, he sh- should. I be. think he should be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> he's a f- okay. Neither here or there. What? Neither neither here or there. I think he should be a Hall of Famer too. Okay. He's a four time Pro Bowler though. 
What, why are, why does Pro Bowl Mac matter Jones to you? Mac Jones was a Pro Bowl, bro. bro, 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 bro. Mac Jones. Hold up, hold up, hold he was the 20th up, best quarterback this year. Mitch I under- Trubisky has a Pro Bowl. I understand that Pro Bowls don't hold a ton of weight, but when, you're, a joke. when your career is done, that's how they measure you. That's, it's just a fact. That's why you can't look too deeply into these things. Terry Bradshaw is the one with the least amount of individual accolades. He sold three Th- chips. Okay, but three-time Pro Bowler. Mac already he has, has one. Pro like. <laughs> Terry Bradshaw had three Pro Bowls, but the reason why he's in a Hall of Fame is because he was an MVP. He was a three-time Super Bowl champion. <sighs> the lowest amount of all pros for a quarterback in the Hall of Fame is one. Matthew Stafford has one Pro Bowl. He has zero all pros. Should he have Matthew, been a Pro Bowler this year? Yes. Matthew Stafford has has had as many Pro Bowls as he had times he's led the league in interceptions. He was tied first with Trevor Lawrence this year. Matthew Stafford. What does that matter this year? I don't give a damn. Who cares? I mean, that's a useless stat <laughs> no, no, to me. That's not a useless stat because it's it's just go. It's just it just feeds Bar- narrative. Burrow was like top ten interceptions. It feeds too. narrative. He, wasn't, he didn't lead it. He didn't. He wasn't he, tied with had, the rookie. He had three. He wasn't less. tied with he the had rookie. Three less than Stafford. This and Stafford year. was number 14. two in touchdowns. So and number three in yards. Can I finish? Based uh. on this current Pro Bowl criteria of a quarterback having a minimum of, of three Pro Bowls and at least one All Pro. Matthew Stafford has one all one Pro Bowl. He's missing two more, and he has zero All Pros. He's at least missing one. But you know what? He can he, but you know, but one, you know bro. what? Eli Manning could get in with four Pro Bowls and zero All Pros. So Stafford, he can get three Pro Bowls and still make it. He what has I, two Super Bowl Drew, Drew is what I, going to and what so I'm saying, Okay, and you're right. You're right. Stafford is Super Bowl champion. Doesn't have the Super Bowl MVP. Hit in terms of Hall of Fame case, Eli has a better case than him. There's no doubt. As of right now, Matthew Stafford is not a Hall of Fame quarterback. This isn't a Hall of Fame resume. You're right, though. His career isn't over. If he plays four more seasons at a high level, can get two more Pro Bowls, he, the, he's not mentioning the Pro Bowl. Yeah, I don't it does not matter. He it should does, have been a Pro Bowl bro, this season. It, it matters, doesn't matter. It matters to it the validity of the Hall of Fame. Kyler, it Mur- does matter. Kyler Murray it missed ma- like four games and was a, a Pro Bowler this year. Bro, Matthew it Staff- matters to it the validity, matter. validity of the resume. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. Can you stop it? To the validity that matters of the to you. Re- that matters to you. What? Pro Bowls does that matter to you? Hold on. What? Do Pro Bowls matter to you? Pro Bowls matter for not winning. Well, Stafford doesn't have either. He has a losing record. He just won a bowl. He, he just, just won the damn has, Super Bowl. But he, but he has a losing record as a quarterback. And what about, his, play, what, what about his playoff record? He has a winning. He has a winning record four in the playoffs. Mark Sanchez has a winning playoff record. In okay, the and what, what does that have to do with any? Right, is he top? Is he top eleven in, in yards? It's not top. 11 He's not. But that's more of a volume top stat. That's more of a volume stat. What I'm saying is that all of these guys, all these guys who are top ten in yards touchdowns, I don't have a ton of volume. What's hold up? They all have a ton of volume. Hold up, hold up. Let me just ask you guys this. What's the problem? Like twenty-two years. What's like, the yeah. problem with saying Matthew Stafford is two to three years away from solidifying himself as a Hall of Famer? I don't have an issue what, with it. What's the problem with me saying? Can he at least no, get two? Your, your issue is Pro Bowl. No, issue is Pro Bowl because that's what you're keep okay, saying. Your so you, is, you okay, keep harping okay, on you're, 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 Pro Bowls. Right, right. Pro Bowls. We're not he, he must have said Pro Bowls like three times in his argument, all right, which Drew, is what I'm having a stroke over. All right, all right, you're right. All pros, that's that's valid then, right? Okay, that, fine, that's, yes. that's the glory. Was, you didn't what, what mention you okay, that fine. once to me. Okay. You didn't mention that once to me. I did mention all pros. That's the biggest blemish. I did mention all pros. That is the biggest blemish. Joe, did I not mention all pros? Did I, I mention? I did, did mention. No, you did, I did but you it. continuously say Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl. He can make a couple more Pro Bowls. You want to know why? What does that matter You want to know why? You want to know why? If Pro Bowls are what you think it is, which... Anybody can get in, right? That's, that's, that's what you're telling me. Yeah, literally anybody. Because Mac Trubisky, Jones just did it. Mac Jones, okay. Kyler Murray missed three games, four games, however many games okay. he made, and made it over Stafford. Okay, thanks for that. Josh thanks Allen that. didn't make the Pro Bowl this year. Are we going to hold that against him? Okay, answer me that. Th- thanks for that. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. The Pro Bowl. I'm is, interested to hear what he's going to say, thanking me for that. Thanks for that. I'm going to cross Pro, my legs and get comfy. The Pro to Bowl you. is so easy to make. So why can't Savage just make two more? Why can't why can't he make two? Just make just make two and you're on the whole you're in the Hall of Fame. You know what I'm gonna just guarantee? Make two. I'll just make two. I'll, I'll guarantee you right now he'll make the Pro Bowl this next season. Because they have to. Right their wrongs yeah, for him not do. making it this season. Make up. So there's one. So you want to ask for two more? So yes. to fit your narrative? No, he needs three not, more. Hold up. He it's needs not, three it's more. Not fitting it's, a narrative. it's a lock. It's He's not making it next season. Guarantee. It's not fitting a narrative. It's fitting the criteria of what makes a Hall of Fame quarterback. In the NFL Hall of uh, Fame quarterbacks, brother. there are 26 Hall of Fame quarterbacks in the that are inducted. The one with the lowest amount of Pro Bowls has three. The one with the lowest amount of All Pros has one. Which means, according to this criteria, he needs two more Pro Bowls 
at least to be in the Hall of Fame. He's not a Hall of Famer just yet. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. This isn't my narrative. This is the criteria of the Hall of Fame. This is not my narrative. This is the criteria of the Hall of Fame. That's simply it. Is it too much to ask him, Matthew Stafford, to get me two more Pro Bowls? He's 34 years old. He can play. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you okay. at least one. He, he can play six more years in the NFL. What's so hard about getting two Pro Bowls? Maybe even an All Pro. And now he's cemented into, into the Hall of Fame. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Is that well, too hard to ask from, for, from Stafford? How many of these guys were first ballot? I can't name you that because I really don't know. Uh, uh-huh. that was a, that's a lot to ask of you. But what you're telling no, no, me. I'm, I mean, I if you just have it right here. You what, know what, what you're, what you're telling me. I'll look. What you're telling me is that Matthew Stafford, with this Super Bowl championship, cemented himself in the Hall of Fame. So what you're basically telling me is that Derek Carr and Kirk Cousins are a Super Bowl championship away from being a Hall of Famer. Like, outright. They don't have the numbers. They don't have the numbers that he does. It's that simple. Derek Carr is going to have the numbers he has. And Kirk Cousins is is definitely going to have the volume he has. Yeah. Definitely. Not, he probably won't finish top 10, but he's a four-time Pro Bowler. Derek Carr is a four-time Pro Bowler. So they have the Pro Bowls over him. And the Hall of Fame, it has shown, you don't have to have the volume. Joe Montana is 21st in yards over his career. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. All right, here we go. I'm going to do us a favor and look at all of them. There are 15 first ballot quarterback Hall of Famers. Peyton Manning, Brett Favre. I'm sure we can all agree on these. Derek Carr is also damn near 20,000 yards behind Matt Stafford. Okay, and the, He's also 31 and has about like nine years left to play. And how many, yard, how many years do you think that Staffy has? I think Stafford has a good 3-4. Left of playing? Yeah. How old is he? 34 years 34. old? He just turned 34. Okay. At a high level, right. at least. Troy Aikman, Warren Moon, who who has the least amount of accolades, first ballad. Uh, Steve Young. Eight-time Pro Bowl. No, I never said Warren Moon had the least amount of accolades. Okay, all right. Eight-time all right. Pro Bowl. All right. Steve Young, Dan Marino, John Elway, Jim Kelly, Joe Montana, Dan Fouts, Terry Bradshaw, Roger Staubach, George Blanda, Johnny Unitas, Bart Starr. It's funny because Matt right. Stafford is 12th on this list. He only has 12 years played. And you look at all of the guys on the top. I mean, Brady, 20 years. Breeze, 20. Peyton, 17. Brett Favre, 20. Ben Roethlisberger, 17. Phillip Rivers, 16. Like, everyone's going to be playing for 15-plus years. So the whole longevity set, while I understand it, yes. But if you're going to be top in the league, you're going to be playing for 15-plus years. Sta- these numbers that Stafford puts up, at the time when he retires, he's going to be top 10. But... With the pass heavy league, with all these quarterbacks, he's gonna get passed eventually. Yeah, okay, but, but after, he's, alone, after gonna, he's on, after I, he's in the Hall of Fame. No, no, I know. All but, right, so real quick, Vanity Snipes, shout out to you. Thank you for donating a dollar ninety nine. He said, you, "Pull up you, Richard Sherman's tweet." Enough said. Which it's basically what we've spoken about yeah. already about the All Pros. Again, it's in a time where you had Rodgers, you had Peyton, you had Brady, you had who who else won a, a, a pro a, a pro uh, excuse me All Pro in that time? Andrew Luck. I'm just naming off the top of my head here. Richard it's Sherman, he, situations were better than his. All right, he, ben, maybe. He shot out 5,000 yards, 41 touchdowns, 16 INTs, and wasn't in, in consideration for so an all for pro. For one, shout out to Vanity Snipes. He gave us $2. He donated $199. we are going to pull up the tweet. Sherman says, I'm going to talk about it on the podcast, but the Hall of Fame bar is incredibly low now, like a participation trophy. Right. No all decade team, no all pro, no MVP. One Pro Bowl, not even MVP of the Super Bowl. Never considered the best in any year he played. At least Matt Ryan has an MVP. So that's what he talked about.